One of the core principle when working with SIN instruction is that you can have a wide register, like a 128-bit register, which is made of several smaller words. In this case, four distinct 32-bit values. Now, maybe you want to reorder them. Intel calls that a shuffle. So you have this, in, this, this intrinsic here. What it does is that it allows you to take as an input a 128-bit register, which is considered as four 32-bit words. And then you pass in what they call an immediate integer, which tells you how to reorder things. It outputs a new 128-bit uh, value, a wide register. So it's interesting to know how you would build such a register. One way to do it with intrinsic function is to call this intrinsic function, which would take the following four 32-bit values, pack them into one a home 128 bit wide register. Now, the question is how you would reorder these values, in this case, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So here's an example that would do absolutely nothing. So it takes A and would output A. And the reason it does that is that if you look at the immediate integer that is passed, the first two bits have the value 0, the next two bits have the value 1, and the third um, uh, two bits have the value 3, and the fourth two bits have the value, uh, of course, 3. And what this tells you is that you output as the first output word, you output the first input value, and so forth. You output as the second output word, the second input value. A more interesting case is this scenario here, where you actually reverse the order. So you take the first two bits have value 3, and so forth. 3, 2, 1, and 0. And this tells you that you're going to output, as the first 32-bit word, you're going to output the first input word, and so forth. Now, these, um, this intrinsic here is, can be quite powerful, and there are even more powerful intrinsic functions. Usually the execution is quite fast. 